Every year, the Minnesota Austin Healy Club shows off their vintage rides around the region with autocross racing and a walking car show. For this week's Community Spotlight, Mel Meyer met up with the drivers as they put the pedal to the metal in this year's Race to the Rapids. Drivers are feeling the heat and pressure of the competition out on the tarmac of the Itasca County Airport. You might hear a lot of screaming and yelling out the window where I say, which way, which way? It's all in good fun. Mostly the drivers are looking to beat their own times, quickly navigating around the cones as to not get any penalties. If you hit it and it, it flies out of the square that it's in, then you lose two seconds. While most of the cars are vintage foreign cars, Suzanne Willitson had to get in on the fun with her more modern BMW. Ready to burn that course up, lady? Yes, sir. Go for it. But she'd rather race in her 1960 Austin Healey 3000 BM7. It was actually purchased brand new by my father in 1960. So I have known that car my entire life. Eileen Wetzel has been racing her Healeys for years. Just this spring, I got my vintage racing license, so I have another Healey at home that's for the track. She says zipping around the course in her 1963 Healey is better than being on a roller coaster. That's the beauty of a Healey is windy roads, you're just golden. Some of the owners opted to keep their cars polished and pristine for the walking show later on. Brenda Dinayu was attending the first Friday Art Walk when she stumbled upon the show. She says there's a little something for everyone, even non-car buffs like herself. I like the personalized ones with the little picnic baskets in the back. Dominique Cool and Josiah Aguilar were driving by and decided to make a pit stop. We've seen some nice, nice cars and we figured we'd come check it out. I've never been to one before. The club might have found a few more members after showing off their rides. I'm not really into cars, but I'm into cars now, thanks to this. With this week's Community Spotlight in Grand Rapids, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.